Deep underground behind a secured keycard access door, there lies a winding laboratory complex. A location unlike any other in Tarkov, where heavily armed special ops soldiers prowl the dark hallways guarding items of immense value. Battle-hardened warriors come to the labs to test their mettle. I'd heard tales of this place, yet never entered. Until now. We're not gonna creep now. Can't be super red. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? This is the server room, I know this room. I had entered the labs with my friend Kira. I was scared, but also confident. I had some experience in the game now and knew as long as I remained calm that I could succeed. I had some of my best items on me. Decent armor and a fast-firing VSS. Can maybe hold- Oh my god, this is loud. Oh, no, no. Pretty open <laughs> here, man. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Now, I had studied the map, so I knew the general layout of the labs, but was very unfamiliar with the specifics. I don't know this map, like, bro, I'm scared. Live like a rat, die like a rat. Let's be chads. Let's move along here. That's the cafeteria area. See, entering the labs is a steep price. You need to have a very rare and valuable labs key card in your inventory. I'd gotten mine after previously killing the scav boss Rashala, and it was one use. So if I died, that key card would have been worth nothing, and I would lose all the high tier items I had with me. I'm gonna chill in this in this Same. bathroom here. <laughs> Let's just climb up the vents. I might as well. Just like, lurk. I'm like, this is my bed. I'm gonna chill on this beanbag. Yeah, that's we my have... beanbag. That's where my homies hang while I'm chilling. <laughs> What's up, dude? That's where you took your bloody dump uh, earlier. <laughs> those, those bandages. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Clear. Oh, oh I, shit. angry boys. I'm gonna, go in. Go in. Uh, I'm going uh, back in. Oh! <laughs> Kill him. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh! I'm okay. Back oh, I'm so lit! Get in he, here? Yeah. He hit me hard. You got him, though. Yep. That's not you. No, no, no. I think I'm gonna slow you. I'm dead! I'm dead! I hit him. I died. So I began thinking. I realized that what I was doing likely wasn't enough. This was the hardest place to survive in Tarkov, so I was gonna need to bring the best equipment. So I got to doing some research. Now first I'd need a helmet, and I remembered a quote from a certain general with a prominent brow. Chads are the f***ing assholes rocking airframes on factory. So I wanted an airframe helmet for that Chad energy. Next was armor. See, I'd heard about this guy named Killa, glorified mall cop. Had his name emblazoned across the chest of his armor. Lightweight and strong. I wanted that. Then I wanted a big boy backpack to carry lots of loot. The Blackjack 50 was a good one. Finally, I would need a key card and a good gun, and I was gonna experiment on which one I liked best. But for now, I'd lost a lot of money on that run. I needed to build back up. So my friend Swagger Souls hopped on, I grabbed a baby Mosin, and we got started. I dropped you yoinks, by the way. <laughs> oh, easy, easy yoinks. Cool. Alright, okay, we can send it. Uh, I'm in the stairs. Is that where you are? Where are you? I'm are just... You? Right, yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. There's people... Holy shit, yeah, there are... I'm opening right the far door. Hello. Uh, yeah, he's, he's in there. I'm gonna die. I hit him hard. He's healing up. Here, come with me. I'm opening the far door, okay? Okay. There's a, he's in there, he's still. Oh! Hit him. He's dead. He's dead. Got him. All right. Close the door. Close we're the both door. We're safe. A lot of people died in here. It's a massacre. Oh, really? Probably. Yeah. I'll skip you. Oh. No! Dead. Oh, shit. Sit down, big fella! Welcome. Close the door. Dude. Don't think I killed him. Opening. He dead. Can you shoot? The There's two of them. <laughs> Both dead. All right, let's move. Sprint. Jump. Ooh. Could be campers. Okay. After you. Bruh. There's not. Let's move. Nice! We escaped from the factory with some loot. We deposited our items and went right back in for more. Would you guys buy baby swagger? <laughs> in and out. Yeah. So we could get a little bit spicy and do kind of a potentially game remove time. Do it. it. Alright, full send. Kill. 
All right. Clear. Oh, Clear. So you got a horsey and a, and a watch. Jesus. Cops outside. Whoop, whoop. I think there's someone in the hallway. Guy at the end. Guy at the end. That's a clear. I dare you to peek, brother. <laughs> Killed him. He was a big boy. Swagger had died. I went to grab everything I could, then hightail it out of there. All right. I'm out of here. That drops anyway. Now Swagger had to log off, and I was cruising with my baby Mosin, so I went to do some solo runs with it to hopefully secure one of the items I needed for my upcoming labs expedition. Target acquired. Gamer down. I have the high go! That guy thinks he's so freaking slick. Good day, sir. Good day, sir! Little cheeky boy. Oh, uh, look at that! Shut your goddamn ass up! Sit down, you frickin' degenerate! Watch this, from the hip, no scope. Look at these little rats. I will destroy you! Sing, sing! Sing, sing! Uh-oh. <laughs> Killed his ass. Someone else? Big boy! What on that? What they didn't die? No way. Okay. What? I might have killed him! I killed his ass, dude! This guy's so fat. What? An airframe helmet. I'd found one of the items I needed to succeed in my lab's mission. I quickly extracted and put it away for later. Next, I needed to decide what gun I was going to bring to the labs. I wanted to experiment a bit, so first I bought a modded M4 from the mechanic to try out and headed back into interchange. That's a thick-ass boy! What on? What on? Bro, I did not... That was a player. Alright, I'm picking my visor up. I'm about to end all you. Oh! Yeet! Boom! I died. And this gun was good, but not ideal for me. So I went back to go do some more runs to keep looking for the equipment I needed for the labs. Yeet! Ooh, that was sick. Ooh, did you guys see that? Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Double kill. Give me that. Uh, let's just go unfriendly. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. Bang! Bang! Ah. I'm unstoppable! No! I saw Shroud get 29 kills on this map. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yep. Well, I'll get 30. Nice. <laughs> Starting with you two. <laughs> ah! What the fuck was that? Oh. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'd made some more money off of these excursions, so I went back to the mechanic and bought a P90. Maybe this would be the right choice for me on my labs run. I headed into customs to try it out. I'm a little fat gamer. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I ran over to the dorms to see if I could scavenge any good loot from there. That's... The scav boss Rashala and his bodyguards were here. Maybe I could get a key card from this. Come here, little boy. Kakulebe! Ooh, that was Rashala. That's gonna heal right up. 
unblack my arm again. <laughs> this poor arm, it's the same arm. I'm freaking out, man. A lab's keycard. One of the items I needed for my run. I tucked it into my pack. Keep on coming! With enemies closing in on me, I escaped, racing all the way to the extract. Alright, we out. Boop. Put away the key card and then decided to do a scav run on woods with a scoped Mosin. Maybe I could do well on here. Tango down. Oh. One of these players had a VSS, the same gun I used on my first labs run. Hmm. That's a lot. Now time was quickly running out and I needed to escape. Bravo 6, going dark. Time was almost out. I sprinted to the extraction point. It was inside the ramshackle scav house. I had mere seconds left to make it out of the woods. I had extracted out with some good loot. Took a look at the VSS I found. Now I died with my VSS on my first labs run, but maybe this was still the answer to what gun I should use. I inspected it and added some mods, improving the ergonomics and recoil. Then I decided to head into customs to give it a try. All right, let's not go that way. This customs run has been eerily quiet. And that's when I heard the unmistakable sound of grenades hitting the ground. Welcome. What? How many? A lot. Anybody home? Oh, yeah! That's a lot of loot. I killed multiple very heavily geared players here in the dorms. I grabbed everything I could off of all the bodies and went to head to the extract point. Welcome. Ah! This new modded VSS had been very effective. I decided that this was the gun I was going to bring to the labs. Now all I needed was a big backpack and the killer armor. I decided to do a scav run on Shoreline to see if I could find either of them. Yeah, we will. Oh. Make it, make it, make it, make it! All right. Don't even try it, buddy, you idiot! Bruh, chill. I don't know, that guy made me really mad. What an absolute... Мы подошли из-за угла. The player I'd killed had a hunter rifle, a decent gun for budget runs. I extracted from the map and then decided to put armor penetrating rounds in the hunter, gear up with it, and head to interchange. But I forgot to record this, so I had to use the footage from my stream. Check out that dashing and handsome gamer in the bottom left. Let's get it. Alrighty. Now this was the map where the scav boss killer lurked, and I was on the prowl for his iconic armor. I am a sneaky boy. I wasn't moving when I heard the weird thing, though. Oh, I didn't know you could get on top of this. Oh, this spot. I think I did. I think that's a body. Big boy. Big boy! I'd killed a very geared player with a huge backpack. This was exactly what I needed for my labs run. I had to get to the extract. 
I darted out of the mall and ran over to the Emercom checkpoint. I made it there safe and escaped from the map. Easy. Now I had everything I needed for the lab's run except the killer armor. I did some runs trying to kill him and take it, but kept dying. Let's kill so finally, I put a sniper scope on the hunter rifle I'd been using and headed back into interchange, intent on claiming the powerful armor. Fellow trumpet player, what's up, mythical? Um. I ran over from the outskirts into the mall. I began my expedition by looting the tech stores. Almost there, mate. Oh, graphics card. After some scavenging, I found a valuable graphics card. There was some shooting early in the run, but otherwise things were quiet. But doinky That guy got shabloinked. Uh, dead scav. Is that killer? That's killer, I think. The very strong scav boss killer was dead in the hallway. This was extremely odd. He looked unlooted. That's bait. Oh, totally. It's unlooted killer? Like, what? There he is. That's just a scav. See, look at that movement. Uh oh. Oh, well. My spot's given away. It could be bait. I had to take this slow. I flanked around and observed the body. He got lit up right there. Now this could really be my chance to get the armor I needed. I started to slowly move in on it. I was looting and no ambush. I couldn't believe this. I grabbed the armor and put it on. My heart was racing. I had what I needed. Now it was imperative that I got out. My extract was Emercom checkpoint, just like last time. I swiftly made my way over there. Maybe they're just like... The Someone was camping it in the tree line. I was lucky they'd missed. Good thing I had full stamina. That guy blew his load too early. I retreated. There was no way I was going to get out here. I could go power... S now, I could extract at the power plant, but that was all the way across the map, and my energy was now dangerously low. Oh, I'm out of food. I might die if I ran all the way there. I needed food. Am I going to make it? <sighs> I'm going to full send it along the front. I could go in and look for food. It's the only way. Uh -oh. <sighs> Please, Gabby. Please, 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 please. Uh-oh, not looking good, folks. You can absolutely- YES! Food! What luck. This was my salvation. Oh, it tastes so good! Let's just go power plant. I could certainly make it to the power plant now. <sighs> That's what they did. Target neutralized. Holy sh- Really- I'd done it. And with not too much time to spare, I stood in the extract. Woo! Are you kidding me? What? I had just stepped out of the extraction point as it reached zero. The car had left without me. I now had to run all the way to Emercom. No time to look for campers. Nothing. Full send. I can't. God, this is going to be really close. I had finally found what I needed. I couldn't lose it here. I think this is it. I'm not going to make it. Oh, that was the perfect jump. That's what I needed. Now, sometimes the rounds lag and you get an extra ten or so seconds after the counter reaches zero. Right now, that was my only hope. I'm not gonna make it. It's gonna go black, like, now. I'd escaped, and with the final piece of equipment that I needed for the labs, it was time. My friend Kira hopped back on. He had been there on my first labs run. Damn, I'm looking kinda epic in this kit. You rolling Val? Yeah. Nice, mate! We returned to the labs. I explained to him all the work that I'd done to prepare. I geared up with all my items, and we headed in. No, 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 no. Nice. Let's do this. Well, it's dropping a little bit. We spawned in and checked all our equipment. We were locked and loaded. We crept through the darkened hallways of the labs, searching for potential loot and listening for enemy players. Middle of every I was still deeply unfamiliar with the map. I was just gonna have to do my best. Is there any way to get in here? Yeah, no, I kept thinking he could have. Hello? 
Hello there. Oh! Killed one. Made it. Kobe! There's more than one. Good. I hear shots from my hand. Alright. But I think we got shot from there. Fuck. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it was to the right. Can we get into this room? Yeah, broke the glass, broke the glass. That's fine. We can, like, lurk deep in this room. Some valuable items off the bat. Nice. Look at me. That way. Here, left. Oh, there you- Oh, you were blending in. I am very, very sneaky. I don't know, man. That's the middle right there. Pretty spooky what you're doing. Clear. I'm dead, I'm dead. From where, from down where, from where? Here. Like, down below in the doorway. Oh. He knows exactly where I am, I can move. Enemy. Are you sure this visor will work? Enemies were all around and I was injured. I needed to be careful. Kira was dead and I was alone. I had to play this right. Another kill. This one was safe to loot. I grabbed everything. Next, I backtracked to loot some of my previous kills. Now with my pack filled to the brim with valuable items I needed to get out. Bro, I can't hear anything. I'm picking this shit up. What do I do then? See, my knowledge of the map was shaky. Going off of memory and the advice of my Twitch chat, I headed down deep oh, into the bowels of the labs. So when I activate this, raiders will spawn? Oh, it's this elevator. I needed to turn on this elevator to extract, but the moment the switch was flipped, enemies would be en route. Alright. Engage. Now I just go? Should I sprint? I was terrified yet hopeful. My long journey could nearly be at its end. How long? Welcome back. I'd done it. I'd escaped from the most dangerous place in Tarkov. After all of the preparations I'd made, coming out with tons of items couldn't have felt any better. My conquest was at an end. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm currently live streaming on my Twitch. The link is below in the description. I'm going to be streaming a lot over the next week, so make sure to tune in. We have a lot of fun. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And follow me on Twitter to stay up to date. Also, follow me on my Instagram as well as my thumbnail artist. All the links are below. Thanks so much for watching. This has been your friend Wellen. Until next time.